Hello to everyone at The Journal Magazine. I'm Chad, the Peology Ambassador for Australia. Today we're here to talk about the partnership with Peology and Ovarian Cancer Australia. And I'm sitting down with Heather Hawkins, who is the Ovarian Cancer Ambassador. And Heather will be telling us all about her recent journey and all her amazing and crazy marathons around the world. Uh, thank you so much, Chad, for having me here. Pleasure. Um, so I've been following your journey now for quite some time and it's quite an interesting and amazing story. Tell us about it. Yes, well, um, I guess I didn't start out many years ago to run or do some of these extreme marathons that I'm doing today. But really, I guess I grew up a, a normal, everyday person in, in Melbourne. Uh, went travelling, uh, fell in love when I came to Sydney, got married, and I have two fantastic children, uh, a 25-year-old and a 23-year-old. I was busy working with our own film and video production company, and then in 2007, our world turned upside down when I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. But I'm an incredibly practical and positive person, so I thought, we're gonna face this head on. Uh, so I had major surgery, and amazingly, even though the tumour had grown and it was 18 centimetres in diameter, it was still found in time. It was still stage one. And I didn't need chemo. That was there as a backup. So 12 years later, I'm cancer free and taking on life like never before. <laughs> Tell us about your next journey, which is your amazing marathons that you do around the world. Yeah. So in 2012, I decided to sign up for a four kilometre fun run. I hadn't run before um, and had such a great time that I thought this is not going to be the last time I run. So I, I took it then up to doing the City to Surf and Half Marathon. And then to celebrate turning 50, I signed up to run in the North Pole Marathon uh, and ended up amazingly winning that, the female division in that race. And for me now, my purpose in life is to to raise awareness and funds for ovarian cancer and to encourage people to get out there, live life to the full and also to look after themselves and use really good products in, in looking after themselves like your hair. How do you balance it in your everyday life and what do you do to take care of yourself and your hair? Yeah, so I love getting out every day, whether it's running or it's swimming in the ocean, uh, doing a little bit of core work as well, so sit-ups and push-ups. Uh, and I am mindful that, you know, I'm putting my hair <laughs> to the test, you know, out in the ocean. Uh, in the Sahara Desert, it got incredibly dry. Um, so I love Purology because it, it moisturises my hair. Uh, I can look after it that way and know that I'm using a great quality product. Yes, and, uh, and yeah. Purology is 100% vegan yes. and it's ethical and sustainable and that's why we love Purology. And we love Purology even more because it's partnered up with um, Ovarian Cancer Australia. And this year, for the first time, um, over 150 salons uh, got together and raised um, funds for um, families affected by ovarian cancer and also survivors, which is pretty amazing. You know, that means so much to, to have that, that partnership because I know this will save women's lives. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you sitting down with the Journal Magazine and Peology. And again, let's get this whole conversation going and getting awareness out there and let's get hashtag Peology Goes Teal trending. Thank you so much.